A Philadelphia family is reunited after all seven members were sick with the coronavirus. Two of the children had life-threatening cases, and today the last one was released from St. Christopher's Hospital. Only CBS3 cameras were there for the emotional send-off. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here now with the story. Hi, Stephanie. Hey, Jessica. Doctors say this family's experience shows just how contagious and dangerous COVID-19 can be even with precautions. Some of the children in the family were so sick, doctors needed emergency approval to try experimental medications. <laughs> Applause and tears for 15-year-old Aslam Deeb as she's released from St. Christopher's Hospital, where there was an emotional reunion with her family, all warriors of a difficult battle with COVID-19. It started with me and my husband right after food shopping. Netta Deeb says her husband got sick with COVID-19 first, and even though he was isolated in the house, she and their five children also got sick with the virus. Honestly, it was the craziest thing I've ever been through. Most people they will not believe it till it hits home. And unfortunately, once it hits home, it's too late. She wants people to know they took every kind of safety measure, including using masks, gloves, and disinfectant. All the precautions you took still couldn't prevent you and your family no. from being infected. It doesn't matter what I did, it still did not work. One of the key features of this virus is just exactly how contagious it is. Dr. Dan Conway treated all three of the deep teenagers hospitalized with severe cases of COVID-19. The two oldest girls on ventilators were also treated with experimental medications. We received emergency approval to use remdesivir. Studies have shown the antiviral remdesivir can help with serious cases of coronavirus in adults and children. We are very happy with how they worked out and very glad to have access to these therapeutics, but I hesitate to attribute any of these particular drugs to their outcomes. Fear turned to festivities for Islam, who'd been on life support and is finally now heading home. It's been a long, long, tough journey, and we finally beat it. We're done. Now, the Deeb children did have some pre-existing conditions which can make COVID-19 more serious. Doctors at St. Christopher's say they are seeing increasing numbers of children with other serious complications, including something similar to Kawasaki disease. But that fortunately did not strike the Deeb family. Jessica. All right, Stephanie, thank you.